Hello there everyone, Seven Bard here, and welcome to another movie review. If you see my review of Equestria Girls from last year, as part of My Little Pony Month, I stated that it was an okay film. But now, there is a sequel. To which makes me want to go over all of the merchandise and all of the episodes that I have from the TV show. And this sequel is called... Equestria Girls Rainbow Rocks. The main five, or however you put it, at Canterlot High put together a band, until three teen girls decide to do a battle of the bands by feeding on the school's negativity and becoming popular by singing with their magic pendants. Man, this plot is hard to explain in simple terms. So the main five call on Twilight Sparkle, to help them out by writing a counterspell. So what do I make of this movie? Well, I'm just gonna say that since I wasn't looking forward to this one after the first one, it's surprisingly worse. But why is that? Well, to begin with, the problems with the first one are in this one too. Having the characters be human, and having little to no pony characters. Yet there is a scene that occurs in Ponyville, but it's just one scene where the first film had maybe two or three scenes with the characters as ponies. Also, why couldn't there be another Twilight Sparkle in the human realm? This applies to both films. If the other characters are there, then why couldn't there be one of her? Would it be the same with the other worlds, having only one character absent, thus having that character go into that world? Unless you're following the rules of the Back to the Future movies, I don't see the purpose of it. But the biggest problem that I have with this film that I couldn't let by is its mean spiritedness. And yes, I know that it comes from the spell that the Dazzlings use, which causes everyone to be very angry and argue with each other, but this one is going too far. I could let just a small portion of it by, but when the Dazzlings keep on using their spell, and when the main six are the only ones constantly getting trashed on, it just makes me cringe. A lot like the mean spiritedness in certain episodes. And all I wanted to do was to shout at the screen, Just stop it! Just end it! You're making the villains win and the heroes look weak! <sighs> However, there is some redeeming value in this. One is the animation. It does look colorful and flowing and comedic at times, just like its predecessor. And the other is the songs. They are performed well, and have some memorable beats to them. Though there are more songs in this than the first film, seeing how it's more about music. And these songs, and the characters, are done well by their voice actors. Tara Strong voices Twilight Sparkle, Ashley Ball voices Applejack and Rainbow Dash, Andrea Libman voices Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy, Tabitha St. Germain voices Rarity, Kathy Reslock voices Spike, Rebecca Sochette voices Sunset Shimmer, Mary Kendrissey voices Inanna Dusk, Diana Correa voices Arya Blaze, and the actress who voices Adagio Dazzle is Kazumi Evans. <laughs> now I know there's a lot of actors and actresses who voice the characters in this film, but I just want to get this over with and go into my overall thoughts. As a whole, this movie is... eh... okay. The characters are okay, the story is fine, the animation is good, and the songs are good too. Directors Jason Thiessen and Ishii Rundell did make a fine attempt at a sequel to a movie that I find okay too. But some of its mean-spiritedness goes a bit too far, certain moments drag out too long, and the main six as their pony self is just one scene. And though the ending does indicate that there's more sequels to this, then this will be my least favorite film franchise, especially being a spin-off of a TV show that I still like. So today, this movie would be given a rating of two and a half mixed stars. Thank you for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook or Twitter, and tune in next week for a new video.
So today...